Understanding Attack Types Here we will learn about different types of attacks, attack vectors, attack techniques and also we will cover individual cyber security aspect. Let us have a look at the type of attacks. The first one being Backdoor. A backdoor is a technique in which a system security mechanism is bypassed undetectably to access computers or its data. One of the utility which is most well known utility is known as Netcat and also another utility known as CryptCat. Next one is Denial of Service. It is a process of denying a service to legitimate users. This can be done in various ways like crashing the system with buffer overflow, ping of death, etc. Consuming all the resources to the system so that it cannot serve its job like consuming all the application threads, database threads, making the disk storage full, etc. are some of the examples. Next is Direct Access Attack. Accessing an object without proper authentication as well as authorization is known as Direct Access Attack. Like if on the website URL replacing John user with the admin user and the admin UI opens without authentication then it's called as Direct Access Attack. Next is Social Engineering Attack. It is a psychological manipulation of people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. It relies heavily on human interaction. It aims to exploit the people's natural tendency of trust, fear, helping nature, etc. Good interpersonal and communication skills are also required to make the attack successful. Wishing, phishing, smishing are some of the examples. Next is Privilege Escalation. Privilege Escalation is the act of elevating access by exploiting a bug, design flaw or configuration oversight in an operating system or software application. The end result is unauthorized actions or access. The race condition is a Privilege Escalation vulnerability that was found in Unix operating system. Next is Phishing Attacks. Phishing is a fraudulent attempt to obtain sensitive information such as username, password, credit card details, etc. by disguising as a trustworthy entity in an electronic communication. Phishing is, is an example of social engineering technique being used to deceive the users. Spoofing Spoofing is an impersonation of a user, device or client on the internet. It's often used during a cyber attack to disguise a source of attack traffic. IP address spoofing, R spoofing and DNS server spoofing are some of the examples besides email address spoofing, caller ID spoofing, etc. Next one is tampering. Deliberately destroying, manipulating or editing data through unauthorized channel is what called as tampering. Data exists in two states, either in transit or at rest. Both can be tampered with. Some of the example of tampering includes cookie tampering, HTML form field tampering, URL query string tampering, HTTP header tampering, etc. Tampering is one of the biggest security threat faced by web applications. Eavesdrop The term eavesdropping is used to refer to the interception of communication between two parties by malicious third party. Eavesdropping can be done against telephone lines, cellular networks, emails and other methods of private instant messaging. It can be done over unsafe network communications. Insecure mediums such as Wi-Fi communication and insecure protocols like HTTP, FTP, Telnet etc. are susceptible to eavesdropping.